built a secret gaming room in Tilted Towers. But not just that, I completely booby trapped all of Tilted Towers and then sent my Discord server to see if they could find it. Let's start building. Okay, here we go. We've got a brand new, fresh Tilted Towers island. Completely unchanged, completely the way you love Tilted. We're about to change it. All right, now I gotta be careful when I'm changing things in this. Everyone has Tilted basically memorized, right? So if I add in like a wall here, people are going to notice. So I feel like if I'm going to make changes to one building, I have to make changes to all the buildings. So I've got to hide my winning room somewhere on this map, but I'm going to have a whole bunch of booby traps in every building so that it makes this a little bit more fun. What the heck is that? I have never noticed this turtle in like graffiti painting or whatever that is. I guess we don't all know Tilted in and out. I almost never dropped a Tilted. It's too scary. Okay, I think first we want to build our winning room, find the right place to hide it. And I love that Tilted already has like this hidden area down here. Clearly, I can't put anything down here. I mean, I wish I could change the terrain because that would make it way easier to hide something, but uh, I can't change the terrain. So how do you hide something when everyone knows every nook and cranny? I mean, one thing we could do is build like a room off over here that people teleport to. That would probably work, but I don't know. It feels a little cheesy to me to hide it somewhere different. So I think what I got to do is just change a few walls in each building so that people know there's differences everywhere. They just have to remember what was there and what wasn't there. And then figure out the way to get into the room. Oh yeah, and I gotta take out all of the chests in the entire map so that people don't accidentally get guns and shoot each other. Ay ay ay. This could be a good spot for the hidden gaming room. So right here, there is no floor piece and it's like a second story little like loft up here. But if I just take this piece right here and cover that up, that now kind of looks like it's supposed to be there. I wouldn't have remembered that. I could also do something over here in the gas station. It may be hide a room like of the second story or something. I feel like not a lot of people come over to the gas station. Oh, this is harder than I thought. Ooh, I feel like the no sweat insurance building has a lot of spots I could hide things that people might not recognize. I mean, just there's a lot of these like two story like areas where I could build a room. I feel like this is a great place to bait people. I don't think I could actually hide it here because I feel like that's the area everyone's going to come. What do I do? Okay, I think the city is clear of chests. Now it's time to make that big decision. Oh my gosh, guys, I just had an idea. Okay, I'm going to do it over here in the gas station. I guess it's kind of cheap. It's the furthest thing away, but watch this. I forgot that we have prop movers and prop manipulators so I can hide a complete room in plain sight. Okay, so here's what's gonna look like. You're gonna walk in, you can run around, you can try and find where you're supposed to go. But you'll notice something a little different in here. There's a green button right there. There's no interact radius on it. You have to be looking directly at it to see. But it says, raise the engine. You push the button, then the floor moves up. And then once it ends, I'm gonna have like a gaming room pop up that's really awesome. Awesome. And I love it because other people can come here and look in and see the person having fun in their gaming room, but they can't get up because this can only be triggered once. Okay, let's build out the gaming room now. Okay, I've just finished it. This is freaking cool. So you run in here and then you push raise the engine and then all of a sudden, boom, you're in the gaming room. You got a bunch of bean bags here. You can sit and play your video games. You got a fridge here you can open up. You can DJ with an awesome floor that's uh, got the right feel to it. You can literally sit down and play whatever game you want at your awesome land set up here. This is the ultimate gaming room in the middle of Tilted Towers. Okay, now that we got our gaming room, we gotta booby trap the rest of Tilted. Okay, I've got a couple of ideas for some fun booby traps or just bait as well. So like there's a room up here. Okay, this is perfect. So I'm gonna make it so all the walls are indestructible. Like you won't be able to hit any of these walls, but this one you'll be able to hit and oh, nope, this isn't it. That's a little bit of bait for them. Maybe I'll even leave like a little text message for them. Like, nope, you're way off. But I also wanna have buttons like this that are clearly buttons like you can see it and it's like easy to find but when you push it something bad happens so like here i can come up i can move the pallet and then hit the button and ah, the roof just kills you and like right here i just added this new thing like this did not exist before but maybe someone won't remember that and the only way in is you can break this wall no way i made it that easy try again dummy <laughs> why is this so fun just making trolls man this is just one giant troll map okay i've got one more troll in this building where you can come up and check the mail and if you do you get uh, warped into a big trap and you die and have to respawn i think i'm just gonna have people respawn up in the air so they can kind of like fall wherever they want oh i've got a fun idea for the clock tower okay so this is what's gonna happen you're gonna come in here and you're gonna see a button it says open secret room clearly this is a secret room right well, we push the button and boom wow it launches you out the top it's high
crazy you can go. It doesn't actually kill you or anything, but clearly that's not the right place to go. Okay, what's another fun troll we could do? Why doesn't this kitchen have a sink in it? I need a sink because I want to kind of flood this area. Ah, here we go. Okay, so here's how it's worked. You're going to turn on the faucet and, well, nothing is going to happen. And you're going to say, where, uh, what's going on? Ah, there's water! And you're going to get stuck in here. I can't even swim out from underneath this thing. And when it stops, it should descend after a little while. Yeah, there we go. I kind of want to see what this looks like from the outside. So I've made a duplicate button right here. We're going to turn it on and look, there it goes. It's totally flooding. That's so silly. This feels like something out of like, I don't know, Hunger Games. It's like the pods or something that are turning on to like destroy everybody. Yeah, I made a fun little booby trap in the no sweat insurance building where if you're just kind of like swinging around, hitting things, maybe you hit the ceiling and boom. And oh no, a guard spawns right next to you. And he's going to kill you and he's going to chase you down. Oh uh, no, Jonesy's up here. Stop chasing me. He doesn't know I'm here. Oh, he's trying to break through the walls. You can't do that. Ah! <laughs> oh, I kind of love that. Okay, this has got to be one of my favorites here. If you somehow get on the roof of the Trump Tower here and you jump on this pinball, then a ah, truck comes out of nowhere and it just sits there and keeps triggering it. Oh, uh, I didn't mean for it to keep triggering. That's actually kind of hilarious. It was supposed to kill me, but actually I think this is funnier. It just sits there and triggers these things. What, well, can I get in the truck? Oh, I can flip it. And now I can drive it around. I can't get it off of this. This is good though. You can't actually get out of the building. So that's a good thing. Yeah, this is my new favorite troll. But you can come in here and look, there's this uh, little sign that says, do a dance. Okay, so we just got to choose a dance here. And then, oh, what the heck? There's a ton of people everywhere. There's a party here. <laughs> and, oh, but as soon as you stop dancing, they disappear. Like this is perfect for me. Like, I just think it's so funny. It doesn't do anything. It just kind of is a jump scare almost. Okay, last one I'm going to show you is the phone booth here. You can call for an Uber. I'm going to see if I can not get hit here. You push E and then, oh, a car comes and hits you, but then it resets and it actually doesn't kill you. It's just gonna knock you up and kind of scare you. Okay, I had my friend Tad come and help me build a little bit and we added some extra traps, some weird rooms like this. Moo. I'm gonna grab my Discord server, which you should join, links in the description below, and see how long it takes them to find the gaming room. On your marks, get set, go, go find the gaming room. Oh, these people found the oil slick. <laughs> They're gonna have oil for a long time. There's lots of booby traps. I hear some going off over here in these buildings. Devin's going into here. Oh no, Devin got launched up into the sky. Uh oh, something's happening over here. Someone's getting a lot of money. Matthew over here by the gas station looking around. This is Rome with Wayside over here is looking all over. Power's slow. I, no one's found it yet. It's definitely right there, but they just are missing it. Oh, a bunch of people found the hidden room here. Uh, you guys actually think I would hide something in the most obvious place to hide something? No way. Anyone found? Oh, <laughs> Jack found the truck up top. Ooh, Cosmic King back over here by the gas station. Not really found it yet. Running back towards the city. No, Cosmic, no. Let's see. I'm curious. There's, oh, people have definitely found the dancing folks over here. Let's, uh, let's amount with them. Woohoo. <laughs> it's only doing like a few people though. That's weird. Let's go back and check the gas station. Nobody is really looking over there. I should probably start giving a hint. But as I try to think of a hint, Oz the boss had already hit the button and found the gaming room. Oh no, someone found it. Oz the boss found it. It's right over here in the gas station, guys. Oz the boss, well done. I can't believe you found it. If you want to lead your friends through the booby traps and see if they can find the gaming room, here's the code to the map. Have fun.